What is going on, everybody, and welcome to this uh, Python and Visual Basic, I guess you could say, tutorial video. Uh, we're going to be learning about how to run Python scripts and R scripts, for that matter, um, in uh, Excel. And I'm going to start with Python because Python is a little more popular uh, than R nowadays, uh, just probably for the easy syntax and the, I guess, overall easy flow of things in the language. Uh, but uh, you can execute Python scripts from Excel using Visual Basic. Um, now, why would you want to do that? Maybe uh, you'd want to use a Python native library uh, to manipulate your data or something like that or scrape data from the web. If you were to do this in Excel, it would be a lot slower. So we can basically get all of the advantages of Python and then dump the output in Excel. Um, so this could be really useful for a lot of projects. Uh, now let's get started. Uh, the first thing we want to do is create a working directory. So I already went and did that in my documents folder. I called it VBA Python R. And like I said, we're starting in Python for this. So I'm going to go ahead and save this workbook I have open as a uh, macro enabled workbook in this folder right here. So I'm going to call it uh, VBA Python. And I'll save it. And we also want to create a Python script. So I, I'm assuming everyone that's watching this is going to have Excel, R, and Python all downloaded. Um, for Python, uh, it's pretty easy. You can just go to python.org and uh, download that. So I'll bring that up, actually, just in case. And I have a mechanical keyboard if anyone is complaining about the noise. So it is a little loud. Um, so you can go right here and then download whatever version you want um, under the Downloads tab. And yeah, uh, it's pretty easy. So once you have that downloaded, and I'm assuming you did the default install, you can open up idle, which is Python's native IDE. Um, pretty much resembles a text editor. And you can go ahead and save the script under the same directory we're working on. So I'm going to call it uh, VBA exec. And all I'm going to do is just put a simple print statement in here for now. So when we call it, that's all it's going to do is just print hello world. So let's save that, close out of this, and we're good on that part. Um, now when you do install Python, one thing you have to keep in mind is you need uh, an environment variable set. Sometimes it can do this uh, automatically if you tell Python, uh, the Python installer, depending on which one you use to do it. Um, for me, I've already done it. So when you type in Python on the command prompt or terminal, uh, you should see something like this pop up. And if you don't, that means uh, if you get basically an error saying, I don't know what this command is, you haven't uh, properly put it in your path. Um, so what that means basically is that uh, if you go in here in the environment variable section on Windows uh, and you go into your path, I have mine set right here to this path, which contains a Python executable, which will allow us to basically run um, the Python shell and execute Python scripts. So if I were to go in here, um, and this is by default the directory that uh, the Python installer puts everything to. You can see the Python exe is here. So if we were to run our Python script, all we would need to do is go here, copy this path, go to our command prompt, and then type in Python, and then paste that, and then eba exec.py. Um, oh, I think I actually had a, uh, an error in the hello world statement. That's pretty funny. Um, I forgot the ending quote. So if we run that command again, we can see we just ran our script. Um, now, to set that environment variable, you can go to that path that I just so, uh, showed you. So it is uh, your users folder under your C drive, and then your username, and then app data. App data may be a hidden folder if you're on Windows. So you can go ahead and... Uh, if you go to this folder right here, you can click view in, in whatever directory your app data folder is in. Um, and it may be hidden and you can just click this hidden items uh, button right there. So let's go back and we would copy that path right, right here. And under your environment variable, you'd add a new one and then paste it in, click OK. 
and you'd be good. And then you'll be able to run uh, the Python command from your uh, command prompt or terminal or shell. So let's go ahead and whoopsie. Accidentally x out of that. There we go. So let's go ahead and get back in our Excel file and we can start uh, programming a Visual Basic to run the shell script. So I'm going to go in and insert a module. I'm going to call it sub shell script. And the first thing we want to do is declare a shell object. And if you don't know Visual Basic, it doesn't really matter. Everything is pretty straightforward. It's procedural programming, which means it's basically one subroutine calling another subroutine and so on and so forth. Um, and you do have to declare data type, uh, data types for your variables, unlike Python. Um, but it, don't stress yourself out in learning Visual Basic if you don't know it for this. Um, so I'm going to set the shell equal to uh, vba.createObject. And we're going to create a shell script object, wscript.shell, if I can type. <laughs> so um, the next three variables we're going to declare are all going to do with the uh, shell automation that we're going to do. So basically, all this script is going to do is just pop up the command prompt and then type in this exact same command for us. Um, and we can obviously pass arguments to, and we'll handle that in a second. So I'm going to declare uh, a boolean. So it's going to wait till complete, which means that we're going to wait until the command prompt or terminal shows up, basically. Um, set that equal to true. We're going to declare a style, which is basically going to allow us to see the command prompt. And we're going to declare a variable called error code to uh, run our uh, whatever um, string we pass in to the uh, run function in, for our shell. So that's basically just going to hold the uh, shell.run statement that we're going to put in. So we're going to declare this as an integer. Uh, and the only other thing we need is a path for uh, our command, right? So I'm going to declare that as a string, and then I'm going to set it equal to uh, Python, which is a command. And honestly, I can probably just go over here and um, copy this. Control-C. Cool. And one thing that you want to do to keep the command prompt open uh, when you run it from uh, Visual Basic is command uh, forward slash K, and that's going to keep the terminal open um, so we can just see what's going on. Now, the last thing we need to do is run the script. So shell.run, pass in our path, style, and then wait till complete forgot my parenthesis and let's give it a shot so I'm gonna X out of this right here and I probably have some sort of syntax error um, forgot an equal sign whoopsie so let's run that again and you can see it worked perfectly fine so we have hello world displaying on the screen and don't worry about this error that you're going to see after we uh, X out of it. That's just because of the command K here. Typically we wouldn't be uh, putting this here. So when your program is fully up and running, you can get rid of this um, and you know it works. So after you're done debugging basically. So let's go ahead and um, pass some arguments into the Python script that we made. So I'm going to go back in here, edit with idle. Um, and I'm going to import the sys module. And what we're basically going to do right here is read command line arguments. So I'm going to print uh, sys.argv and just the first one. I'm going to save it, X out of it. And if we were to do that, we would pass in arguments just with a space and then uh, whatever parameter we would want to pass in. Um, 
or variable for that matter. So you can see one is passed in as a string. Um, we can X out of that once more. So if we wanted to do, let's say, pass in a cell in Visual Basic, um, we could put something like this in. We could declare our variable as, let's say, string, and we'll set it equal to uh, sheet one dot range, and then a one and extract the value. And what we would do here is concatenate space and then the variable. Awesome. So let's go ahead and move this over and just type in uh, anything. So we'll go back, run this once more. And you can see right here, we have our command line argument passed in, and it's just an example string. So that's how you do it in Python. Uh, I'll probably break out R into the next video, and uh, I might do a small project after that, um, showing a demonstration of using a Python or R library with this, uh, and maybe data related too. So uh, that does it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later, bye-bye. Thank you.